32 touches for Lamar Miller. Woo! He got what he wanted. That was like, uh, man, it's insane to see a running back getting that kind of workload. You don't really see that very often. Um, it's, in, it's like encouraging if you're a Lamar Miller owner, but it's also like kind of scary. So like if he gets 30 plus touches a game, he's going to gonna break in half. Like they can't do that. Out. Yeah. Jeez. I mean, and he was he also wasn't incredibly efficient. Yeah. Now, he was more efficient earlier in the game. His yards per carry were like, I mean, they were over four for the majority of the game. And then later on, they had the lead. They kept on running him. He was getting stuffed a little bit. Uh, so his yards per carry came down and dropped under four. So he didn't have fantastic efficiency numbers. But you look at the volume and you're thinking it doesn't even matter. Yeah. Uh, because he didn't score a touchdown. If, if he would have scored a touchdown, he would have had an amazing week. Yeah. But he still put up over 100 yards. He was one of only two running backs to eclipse the 100-yard mark, the other one being who we were just talking about, D'Angelo Williams. Right. So the volume is insanely encouraging for Lamar. Uh, yeah, be happy if you took Lamar in the first round. That's what I got from that game because they are planning on just giving him the ball. Yeah, I, I would almost recommend that um, – like. If if in your league you think your Lamar Miller owner might be like a little bit worried that he didn't put up like twenty plus points because you know they probably took him in the first round, like like see if maybe you can buy him because he's I think so far we are right about the he is going to be like a top three running back almost just based off of volume alone like if he if yeah. he can be efficient with it even a little bit then like he'll he's going to finish there. Yeah, I mean we saw this with Latavius Murray last year. He didn't have great efficiency numbers, but he saw so much volume that he was an RB1. Yeah. Now, Lamar Miller's like an upgraded version of that. Yeah, so sure. if he sees the volume, then not only will he be an RB1, but he'll be a top five running back. Ben Stash approved. Ben Stash approved. Ben Stash approved.